Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, a bit of a later stream. I did not play the COTD. You have probably noticed that I wasn't there in time. Um, that has a specific reason and uh, I will uh, talk about it today. So it's going to be a non trackmania stream today. It is out of schedule, something I wasn't planning on doing, something that I wasn't willing to do at any point, but uh, yeah, it looks like we're getting some people in as well. That is fantastic. That is really good. We have Granadi and Spam uh, raiding with uh, a lot of people. Holy shit. I hope you guys uh, had a good COTD. Hope uh, it went well for you. I didn't watch. I didn't watch, sadly. But uh, you guys are coming just in time. As I said, it's not going to be a long stream. It's not going to be a Trickmania stream. Because uh, there is something I want to get off my chest. Because it's been bothering me for weeks at this point. And uh, I think at this point there has to be a stop to it. Or at least I want to show you guys what uh, has been happening in uh, behind the scenes, sort of. Because I think you all deserve to know uh, the things that, you know, might not seem obvious at first. And that is related to the things that have been happen ha happening on uh, Twitter uh, between Virtual and me. So a lot of people have already seen uh, what was going on. And you have only seen one side of it, so uh, now it is my turn to show the other side of it. Because uh, only that way you can make a proper, uh, you know, judgment of the situation. You cannot really judge a situation by just knowing one side. So um, obviously you gotta know what's happening on, on my side and the reasonings behind it. But uh, there is a lot more. So uh, yeah, it is actually, actually uh, a lot more. And a lot of things that shouldn't be handled the way they are handled right now. But uh, I just want to wanna fill you up. So it's going to be a bit of a cool story, Bob, here. Um, and you can, you can uh, make up your own mind about it, of course. Um, but yeah, we're going to start chronologically, of course. Yeah, And chronologically means that all of this Twitter stuff, because it happened yesterday, today, is going to be at the end. So if you want to know why all of this Twitter th Twitter stuff even went overboard like this, then uh, I highly invite you to take a look at uh, what I'm about to present you here, because uh, yeah, it's been, it's been bothering me for quite some time, and uh, I thought the situation is gonna resolve itself one way or another, but it didn't. So uh, yeah, get out the, get out the popcorn, yeah. Um, there is uh, some things I want to show you. And uh, as I said, it is something that I didn't really want to bring to the public because it sucks, it's stupid, but uh, at this point I kind of need to defend myself because it's been uh, on quite a harsh emotional level at this point. And that's, you know, something that made me, uh, like, I've, I've lost a freaking kilogram or something and not sleeping, not anything, it's, uh, it's pretty bad, so uh, just want to let you know what's happen what's happening. Because uh, it's it's fair, and uh, while it sucks, it has to be done. So, we are beginning with me, uh, first of all, showing you my desktop. And uh, that way I can show you screenshots of things that are of importance. First, I need to get that shit to work. I am obviously new to streaming, so I don't know much about it. Uh, okay, there you go. Hope you're okay. Yeah, I'm not so okay, but uh, you will probably see why. Um, so, we are starting with... Um, we are going back in time, by the way. We are going back in time. Uh, the 8th of April. That's where everything started. And uh, I have received a personal message on Discord from Virtual. And at this point, it has to be noted, Virtual and me have never had any trouble or anything. We're... Oh, we were good friends, and you know that. You know, we've all we've always been bantering, always good fun. But, uh, yeah, at this point, it was still fine. At this point, it was still fine. But, as you might be able to guess, at this point, it's not that fine anymore. So, we're starting um, with the start of the conversation. So, this is all harmless, you know? This is all harmless, but it's necessary for the context. So, 
Virtual is contacting me. I'm not sure if you can read that actually on the screen, but Virtual was asking, um, we're currently doing a study to see how fast pro players can steer at peak performance in order to measure it up against potential cheaters. And I was wondering if you would be interested in participating. Uh, it's basically just drive two replays on AO1, one where you steer as quickly as possible from left to right, one where you tap as quickly as possible in one direction at the time. So I was like, yo, sounds cool. Um, I'm going to help him because at that time, you know, virtual, uh, you know, we were we were in good terms. And just shortly before that, the Grand League ended as well. And we've done the interviews and everything was all fun and dandy. So, um, yeah, let me actually remove the, the, the overlay thingy here. So you uh, can read the entire thing. So I was like, yeah, cool, uh, no problem. Even though I first didn't understand. So I, I said, yeah, I don't fully understand, blah, blah, blah. So he explained it and I was uh, asking for some more, um, for some more things. Um, we have nothing particularly interesting here. You can read through it. I was just asking like, how, uh, how should I do it exactly? Blah, blah, blah. And uh, I was wondering how exactly is that, like, how good is that study going to be? Like, is it is it going to be of any value? Because there are so many things you need to keep in mind um, that, you know, that refer to inputs, how players play, because there's so many, so many aspects, like you can list them on, on five hands. Yeah. Um, so that's basically it. We just discussed this project. I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. All good. I'm going to help out friends. No problem. Um, and that's pretty much about it. We're going to the second screenshot here. Why is that not working? Hello. There you go. Um, so we kept discussing. And uh, I was I was uh, curious how everything is going to work. And uh, yeah, then I just went for it. Mega moin. Unbelievable. You mega moins. Um, and yeah, the, the, the thing is, this is, this is an interesting thing here, um, saying, I was asking, are you planning on making a video? Cause, uh, obviously we all know virtual is now sitting at 400,000 subscribers, which I'm super uh, happy about for him, um, because it's good for Trekmania and it's nice to see the, the growth. So I was asking, is the, is the whole thing going to be for a video or was it that for, you know, I'm curious. I'm, I'm curious for what I'm going to put my time into because obviously time is short these days with so much content creation, streaming, etc. Um, a lot of time goes into that and obviously I don't want to uh, risk it and potentially waste my time on, on something. Oh yeah, the overlay. You guys are not seeing anything. Rip. There you go. Um, so now you should be able to see anything. Uh, everything, I mean. Uh, so yeah, I was asking uh, what is that about and since there were some uh, Discussions about cheaters in the in the mod discord, which I'm also part of they were discussing about some uh, weird runs and it's been more frequently, I don't know. So I was Just putting one and one together and thinking yo could it be related like blah blah blah. So nothing too exciting here Make it bigger. Yeah, I can I can do it like this like this. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's fine. Um, so that's pretty much about it. Nothing, nothing too exciting. Then we go to the next screenshot where I, uh, recorded my replay. I drove one run on AO1. I, uh, did my taps. I did my steering. All good. All good. Um, it was a bit delayed though, because I forgot about it. So as you can see, this screenshot is from the 8th and I answered the 18th. That's uh, Riolo for you. Never answering. Uh, I pretty much forgot about it. And uh, at some point I sent him after virtual gave me a quick reminder Then I sent him the replays all good and I even I even went the extra effort and I tried two pads I went with my Xbox pad and I went with my Nacon pad to give him the best uh, possible result um, So I even put that effort into it uh, Then thank you so much. Sorry for the delay. No worries. I know what it's like, you know, all good all good um, doing the doing the hugs and everything and here is where it's starting to get interesting. Hey, we've done a lot of analysis on Redacted. I am not going to drag any other people into this. Uh, it's only going to be what's between uh, me and Virtual. So another player has been analyzed, someone that they suspected to be fishy or something. Uh, so their name is blurred out. You will not be able to know who it is. 
And Virtual was asking me um, on my input, because I know United, I played United for a long time, so I was like, sure, I'm gonna help. Because uh, then again, it is a project that I thought was cool, so I was uh, gonna give my input. And I gave my input. Here's the run that uh, I was sent. It is a run in Trackmania United Forever. And as you can see, it is on a track called Snow A1. Um, everything is blurred out. You will not be able to know who is the suspect. You will not be able to know what time was driven or how things look like. Um, that doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter at all. Um, I know the player, of course, because I'm active in United. I know the player and I said, yeah, there could be a few things because uh, you could see the inputs, yeah? You could see the inputs. So what's important to know, uh, Virtual and Donadigo, who is the one who released the competitive, no, competition patch um, a few days ago for Team NF, which I think is a really, really good effort. Um, he was uh, the one who was able to also extract inputs from replays, which is actually pretty sick because uh, so far it hasn't been possible and I think it's a cool way to learn from uh, from replays without having, let's say, stream inputs viewer thingies, you know? So now you could actually uh, extract the inputs and display them, which is nice. And they have ran their, their tool thingy on this player and found that a few things were looking a bit awkward. Um, so that's what Virtual was asking me, like, what could it be? because I have a bit more experience, so I told him, yeah, there is a few things that could be uh, potentially playing around with the inputs a little bit. Uh, could be tools like DX Tweak, it could be uh, setting sensitivity, it could be uh, stick drift. I mean, I even have stick drift right now, so, you know, uh, let that sink in. Um, so yeah, I was like, yeah, there's some things that might be weird, but who cares? Like, what, 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 what could it be? It could be anything. People play weird. Everyone has a different play style. Um, and then I, uh, then Virtual asked, how does DX Tweak work? I explained to him DX Tweak is a tool which is uh, allowed. It is a third party tool that people have been using in United for a long time. So it's not something that people really uh, make a big fuss about. And I have also used it a few times because uh, it sometimes helps when you play with analog devices to exactly uh, match the steering range to what you need. Uh, pretty good thing. And a lot of modern controllers, they also come with this feature by default. For example, my Xbox Elite controller, it also has a feature like this. Um, very, very cool. So it's kind of the standard right now. Um, so yeah, apart from that, nothing else really. We're gonna go to the, to the next screenshot here. And we have, or I have received more replays from that player. And in these replays, it, it, it still looks weird, you know? There are inputs that, you know, nobody plays like that. Or at least nobody should be able to play like that. Because it does look a bit... Yeah, I don't know. It, it just doesn't look correct. Because the inputs are, like, super quick. They're, they're like, it's tapping even though it should be smooth and that's that's weird yeah so this is a run on on desert where you have to tap a lot by default and we were discussing i gave virtual a bit of insight into how the desert physics work that you have to tap in order to get better speed in the corners um so it's it's just some technical stuff right here and uh, basically explained to him how the things work so take your time to read through this if you want Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy about this. And then we're going to the next screenshot, where the discussion keeps going. There's another replay from that player, where even I was confused. You can see my reaction, uh, that end. So, the run looked fine, but then at the end, there's like, I don't know, something happened at the end that made it look really weird. Some, some of the inputs. Some of the inputs, they did look pretty weird. 
And uh, I said, yeah, what are these movements? I couldn't explain it myself because I have no idea about this tool. I don't know about the player. I, ha I have no clue. So I'm just questioning it, hoping that Virtual could get maybe, I don't know, inform me on this or something. Nope, nope, that's too early. And yeah, basically just discussing the replays. And I said, looks kind of fishy for sure, because it does, it doesn't look normal. But I feel like inputs are not enough to judge when other factors like the X tweak and sense settings are coming into play, which makes sense, because uh, every player plays with different settings. And every player has their own input device and every, you know, everyone is playing on different grounds, basically. Yeah. Uh, then we have another one on the same map from the same player, just a different replay. And uh, this one was even weirder, but we couldn't explain what it was. Yeah. And uh, I said this one's even worse than the first one. Then we have another replay, uh, a lot of replays from this particular player, so there's no tension between Virtual and me at this point, right? Nothing. It's it's a completely civil and normal discussion. Uh, we're just discussing these replays because Virtual is interested in knowing a bit more about the tool um, and about the game, because Virtual doesn't play Trackmania United, he plays uh, Nations Forever, he's a stadium main, and uh, obviously... He doesn't know as much as I do as someone who's played United for uh, such a such a long time. Um, so I said looks unnecessarily unsmooth. This is a replay from the rally environment and in the rally environment you don't really tap a lot because it makes the car slide. But uh, yeah, on, in this run there were a lot of small taps which could happen from anywhere. The car didn't slide though and the replay, you know, it, it's valid. It went through, it's in the leaderboard so you might be asking yourself, what exactly is happening there? And I was also asking myself, how can that happen? Because uh, you don't get to see those uh, those things every day. At, uh, at this point, I was still uh, curious. Yeah, still curious. Um, and then uh, the last one here. Let's actually zoom in a little bit here. Um, virtual saying, we're still analyzing and comparing runs, but I'm wondering where you lean right now. So Virtual was just trying to get an opinion out of me, which is fair, because uh, we were just discussing a lot, but we couldn't really come to a conclusion. Which is difficult, though, when you just see inputs, and inputs aren't really, you know, they don't say a lot. They say something, but they don't say everything. And that was what I was trying to bring across here as well, because uh, it could be anything. could be fishy, it could be somebody who just has a spastic finger or something it doesn't it doesn't matter yeah um so virtual was asking me here at the end do you think it's played legit that's uh that's the big question here virtual asking do you play do you think it's played legit um so then in the next screenshot uh, i didn't answer because i was i think i think i was in the car or something um i got another replay uh which donadigo found and uh, that one also had some weird taps. And I said, this run is so odd, do you see the side ramp in the end? His counter steer is vibrating. So you guys probably know, um, when you jump and you counter steer, you can stop the rotation. Just like an air brake, but in the, in the opposite axis. Yeah. Um, so he didn't hold, but he, it was not steady in some way. It was really weird. So I was, I was like, why? How, how is this happening? And uh, due to all these things, and because I just didn't know anything, I said I'm also leaning towards non-legit, even though I have no clue to what extent. Basically what I told you right now. The fact that he's got a shadyish pass doesn't help either, which is something uh, that is definitely something that you should keep in mind. But uh, doesn't really matter for this particular case. So I said, it's weird. Leaning towards non-legit non, non doesn't mean that I think it's not legit. It's just that these things need to be investigated a bit further to really know what the fuck is happening. Um, then we're moving to the 24th. This is the 20th. This is now the 24th of April. And uh, I, I first said uh, Mufat, yo, because uh, that was the day where he released the Mufat video. And uh, I said, yo, good fucking meme, because I thought it was funny. I, I actually didn't, like, see it coming at all, whatsoever. I was like, holy shit, you fucking, fucking virtual, you know? 
so he said, ha ha ha, how surprised, you know, all good. At this point, it's still all good. And uh, now we're getting, getting to the point where all of a sudden there's something with my replays. Okay, you know, we can get into it and talk it out, no problem. Uh, hey, hate, to s hate having to send a message like this, but we analyzed some of your United runs and found some strange looking inputs. Could you explain what's going on here? So this is a run that I drove, I think in 2011 um, with joystick back in the days. So this run is almost 10 years old. It's four tenths slower than the world record. Um, and then uh, I said, yo, there are some similarities for sure for this particular uh, particular run. I used the X tweak and joystick um, because at that point I was playing with joystick. I didn't play with pad at that time. Uh, I started pad at, in like 20, what was it, 2012, 2013, 14, I don't know, something around that I made my final transition. Um, so I played with joystick, I used the X tweak as well because my joystick was pretty shit and I had to adjust it a lot for uh, <laughs> that joystick to actually work properly. So a uh, joystick put at a very half sense, it's funny to look the first half being smooth and then I panicked the second half completely. I'm gonna show you this run so you, ca you can make up your own opinion about it. And then uh, Virtual said, the tapping speed in the run is faster than the player we discussed earlier. And I don't see how it's possible to reach that on a joystick with high sense. Uh, then I told him, maybe look into the tool. It could be the tool being faulty. It could be the replay being faulty. It could be anything. Like, we don't know. And it could also uh, explain why the other player has had so many of these weird inputs, you know? Like, how, how is that happening? So here's the run. Uh, this is Rally C1. As I said, run almost 10 years old. Uh, I'm going to show you the run with inputs, yeah? So the inputs, very gentle. You need to very gently steer in this environment, yeah? That's uh, how, you, how you do it. So all of it looks pretty normal at the start. A little bit tappy, but not too crazy given the sensitivity level I was playing at. But look at this one. Th this is where I was like, hey, how is that possible? Look, it's full broken. Look at this. So, understandably, Virtual and Donadigo were like, okay, what is happening here? It makes sense, yeah? It makes sense. I can completely get behind that. Because it is completely spasming out. Look at it. Prrrt. Look. Like, nobody can ever uh, steer like this. It's not possible. Obviously, it's not possible. Yeah? Um, so, at this point, I was like, hmm, what, what, could, what could be the cause here? Because... What I can tell you, I didn't use anything apart from the uh, the X tweak and my joystick. I didn't use anything else. So I just played my run. And it is a pretty shitty one on top of that. Let's let's get that straight. It's a pretty shitty run. But uh, yeah, at some point it is spasming out, mainly in the second half of the run, not really in the first one. The first one is kind of fine, even though it doesn't look perfectly fine either. But it's still something that I would consider being possible without too many issues. So at this point it gets weird, like 17 seconds here. Like in this left hander and also the the last one here. Look, look, like that, that, that doesn't make sense. So virtual suspicion, obviously he's interested in knowing what the fuck is going on. I am too. <laughs> I am too. So we're moving on. And uh, Virtual said, we've looked at comparisons between padvis and inputs fetched from replays and it seems accurate. So what they did is compare runs that I drove on stream, legit, uh, against their their uh, tool. And it showed accuracy. I didn't watch this, re this, this run though. So uh, you might be asking yourself, what could be the cause here? Yeah, w what is this? This was one of the first things we did before analyzing beep to make sure we had the correct data. Which is good. I think uh, that's exactly the correct method, you know? That's exactly how you do it. Um, I see, so perhaps there are some discrepancies when using things like the, the X tweak. I'm just throwing some sh suggestions into the room because I have no clue. I'm just uh, trying to like figure out what could be the cause. I'm trying to help him because I know I didn't do anything wrong. At least not knowingly, if you're now coming up with, oh yeah, the X tweak is a cheat, okay, guess uh, that's not legit after all, but it's been condoned in competitions already, 
in various Trickmania United competitions, so uh, I don't really see an issue in that. Um, and then there is another interesting one, and it is a keyboard run. Virtual saying, we also found a keyboard run that has this abnormal fast tapping play style. Um, going to the next screenshot, I took a look at it, I was like, yo, you think this is too quick? How many taps per second? Blah, blah, blah. Um, I said, you as a keyboard player can probably tell whether this is matchable or not. I personally can't tell. I'm not experienced enough with keyboard. Because uh, I stopped playing keyboard in 2010 when I switched to joystick because I was pissed at not being good at the United environments. Uh, so I went to joystick and I didn't play keyboards after that because I was better with the joystick in every environment almost instantly. Uh, and then uh, Virtual saying it's not so much the speed that stands out to me, but the strength of the taps. In the first left turn, you had a speed of 10 taps per second. That's pretty fast. And all taps were at 0.02 strength, which seems to me next to impossible. So that's uh, the interesting thing. To me, you cannot state this is possible and this is not possible uh, on something that's completely subjective. So this is, this is still subjective at this point. Uh, this replay also stands out in peak speed in comparison to your other keyboard runs where from all other keyboard runs your highest peak, highest peak was 6 taps per second. Um, what do you mean your taps? So he was like talking about your taps and this is where I got confused because uh, he says that's your run. Yeah, From a replay that's uploaded and driven apparently in 2011, one year after I stopped playing with keyboards altogether, I didn't set any runs or anything, uh, this replay was apparently uploaded to TMX. So now you could be asking yourself, how did that get onto the page under my account? No, I didn't. I didn't stop 2013. I stopped with joystick around 2013 when I uh, played with pad, and only occasionally went back to the joystick, because uh, I was another like extra edge better with the pad in in most cases, but not all of them. So I said, how is this possible? Uh, blah 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 and virtual just dry I don't know what to say to that yeah well I don't know what to say to that either like what the hell <laughs> what the hell is that you know uh, and I told him 2011 I already stopped playing keyboard entirely so whoever upped this replay wasn't me wouldn't be the first time someone got hold of my account anyway and that's true because uh, you probably remember um, you'll pro you, you probably remember it was Christmas 2020 when I got hacked like on all of my accounts uh, some of you probably remember, people uh, told me on, on uh, Discord that I was hacked and that people were posting shit under my name on uh, Reddit and yeah, I had to end my stream because of that as well, because I was streaming at that time. Um, pretty, pretty fucked. So it wouldn't be the first time. It wouldn't be the first time that I got hacked. And uh, Virtual gave me some more evidence, the replay was driven on my account, perfectly fine, all good. Um, I checked my, my replays to see whether I have this replay and I didn't have it because I started playing this track seriously in 2012 with joystick. Yeah, Because Stadium A3 is a precision map and you have no chance with keyboard there. You're gonna, you're gonna inevitably lose time because you all know there is a keyboard disadvantage at low speed. Um, so I said I didn't hunt that map at the time, like, I, don't, I didn't drive this, yeah. Um, so he was like, okay, just want to say we're doing this in good faith, we don't want to start witch hunts over 10 year old records. The goal is just to get as clean as possible leaderboards before the competitive patch. Fine, you know, if they wanna, if they wanna grab some, some old replays and remove them because they think they're faulty, fine by me, yeah. And I also said, you can remove the run because I have nothing to do with it, yeah. I don't want shit like this that has apparently been driven under my name on the internet. I, I don't want that. Yeah, I, I don't want that. Because that's the last thing I want to I wanna do. I hope you understand that these anomalies require a bit more looking into. If you have replays dating back to 2012, would you mind sending your replays folder in a zip so we can analyze further? So I asked any particular map. He was like, preferable would be the entire replays folder. Um, and my replay folder is bigger than the universe. Yeah? I have a lot of replays. 
I have a lot of replays, so I don't know, that zip file would have been, like, I needed to send that zip file via, uh, I need to burn it on a Blu-ray and then send it to him. Because uh, that's how, how big it is. So I was like, are you doubting me this much? Like, he didn't buy anything that I that I told him, and that was the point where I got really disappointed on a, on a human level. Because Virtual and me were friends for a long time, yeah? And the fact that he apparently doesn't accept the answer I gave him. I can't give him more than this. And I would have been fine giving him replays, you know? I have nothing to hide. I could have given him replays, any replay he wants, yeah? All good. I would have sent him anything. But coming like this in a cheeky way and being like, oh, send me your entire replay folder. Yeah, come on, that's, that's not it, man. You know, that, that's not it. That is not it. Because I'm not gonna let myself... I, I don't want anyone to dance on my on my nose, you know? Like, that that's not happening. Yeah, you cannot toy around with me like this. So either you're straight on or not. Yeah? And this, this was just some... I don't know what he was trying to get. So, uh... That's basically the answer I got at the end. Uh, it's easier for both of us than asking for specific maps. Yeah, it's uh, it's easier for, for me to like put 1,000 billion replays in a zip file. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to the next screenshot. And he found that I have seemingly uploaded two replays after another on two different maps. Yeah. The question is probably... What, what, what happened here? Yeah, so the stadium a4 run that that's a different map uh, is a pad replay with a different tag So you might assume You know that might be the tag I had at that time and the other one was an older replay. We don't know. I, I have no clue It leads us to believe that both runs are yours and you uploaded your PBs at the same time Kind of makes sense, right? Kind of makes sense It uh, kind of makes sense Um but, I told him what was happening, I have no trace of this other replay, pretty sure I did upload this uh, Stadium A4 run, but uh, yeah. Um, I didn't answer to that anymore, because I was pissed. I was, I was honestly, uh, honestly pissed, yeah? And uh, I didn't want to bother with this anymore, because at this point it was just getting ridiculous. Uh, virtual pinging me, not even uh, giving me space or anything, just uh, bopping in the, the question mark. It bothers me that you're not responding to something as serious as this. Are you just busy or is it something else? Like, being pushy. Anyhow, if you have done something shady in the past, then the cleanest outcome now would be to admit it. And help us get the truth. Will, 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 will. The police is coming. <laughs> Hands up, Riolo. <laughs> Hands up. Have you driven... 10 year old replay with keyboard. Hands up. Um, and that was the point where I fucking exploded, man. So I told him, what bothers me is that you're apparently putting yourself into the position of the self-proclaimed Trackmania police, because that's in fact what they're doing right now, and that you're seemingly lacking any type of trust to me. That's the more sad part about it, actually. Because, uh, you know, we've been good and We've, we've shared quite some deep talk as well when we met IRL, you know, we've talked a lot about it. Um, and uh, yeah, now, now there's no trust at all. Sad. Uh, I provided all the information available to you, I even helped you with the project of yours in my already very limited time. Yeah, I helped him with this shit and now he's trying to get me for something. Hey, please. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Just yesterday you said you weren't gonna start witch hunts with people, uh, over people, but what you just wrote seems very much like it. Yeah? So, first he's like, yeah, I don't want to start a witch hunt, but, uh, yeah. If you have done anything shady, then the cleanest outcome would be to admit it. Eh? How is that not a witch hunt? Uh, I fail to see that right now. I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't see that. I, I don't see that. Um, okay, then we're going to the next one, and uh, this one's a bit shorter because the conversation is about to end at this point anyway. 
Yes, we're investigating potential cheating, which is to everyone's benefit. It's not something I enjoy doing. It's uncomfortable to ask these questions because we've been friends for a long time. I see how he values that. Uh, but trust only goes that far when the inputs in your runs are sketchy and your story of being hacked doesn't add up. Okay. Seems like uh, there's no human decency left in this case anyway. That's uh, that's fine, you know. If he if he doesn't value the friendship, if he doesn't value any type of trust, okay. Well, that's it then for me. Nobody will witch hunt you over one cheated run ten years. Ago. <laughs> but believe we believe there could be a deeper issue at hand, and this is where I agree. There could be a deeper issue, and it's the fact that their subjective opinion on these inputs from me, from other players, yeah, there's... We talked about, like, I, I actually didn't show the entire conversation here, by the way. Um, there were five, six players or something in question. Um, so not only one. We didn't only discuss one, but uh, multiple, multiple players. So if it actually impacts multiple people then we maybe haven't even scratched the surface of possible, you know, something being weird with the game, with the inputs, or whatever, yeah? We, we don't know. So I agree with this. I agree there could be a deeper issue at hand. But you don't combat this deeper issue by backstabbing your friend, <laughs> by, you know, not buying anything, and by saying, okay, yeah, this is cheated. Uh, I, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I, I understand. How's this backstabbing? Well, he was first using the information I gave him. Yeah, I told him what I think about this other player. And now used it against me. That's what I meant. Maybe backstabbing is the wrong word, but you know what I mean. Yeah. So, right now... It would be favorable for you to admit to driving the Stadium A3 keyboard run and assist us in the rest of the investigation. I hope you consider this option. Uh, no? <laughs> uh, what's my actual explanation? I told you everything I knew. I have no explanation and neither does virtual, so... At this point we're standing here face to face and no, but like it's like two rams, you know, these animals with the with the horns. They're just going at it for no reason. Yeah, that's basically it. That's basically it. Um, and then, ladies and gentlemen, I have received a PM today. I didn't respond after this. This was I didn't answer to this anymore. Now we're coming to this message that I received today at twelve fifty four. Hey. With the goal of being as transparent as possible, I'd like to update you on the current state of the cheating investigation. We have analyzed most of your publicly available replays in all Trek Media games, so why did he even ask me in first place? I don't get that. And compiled together replays of the uh, uh, playlist of the run that we found most suspect. We sent this to TMX staff, MX staff and Nadeo to make them for their own judgment about them. We are also writing a full report about all the suspected cheaters we discovered, including yourself, which will be publicly released in the end of May. We'll tell you the exact publication date I know. That's kind. That's pretty good. Uh, thanks. Um, so yeah, apparently there's a bunch of players now and they're all gonna be revealed in uh, a report. Now whether it is a video or something else, we don't know how it's gonna be. But... Uh, we're all fucked, basically. At the end of the day, we're fucked. Yeah? We are fucked. So, whatever I did, I'm fucked. Sad. I am... I'm very sad. Um, it's not coming to an end, though. Because I have received this one. Ladies and gentlemen. It's not... Oh, I just muted myself. Oops. Uh, here. I also heard that you're planning to make a statement about me today. That is correct. I'd urge you to think carefully about the tone you speak in, as it might just make things worse when the report comes out. If you'd like to speak about this privately instead, then I'm open for it. Brother! 
<laughs> Jesus Christ, that's blackmailing if I've ever seen one. Holy shit. Holy shit. I couldn't believe my eyes, man. Like, I'd urge you to think carefully about the tone you speak in. Is he my dad? I mean, that guy's a fucktard already. Uh, so, I don't know, man. Holy shit. I couldn't believe my eyeballs. They straight up dropped out. I have to go to surgery again. Help. So that's what I meant about the... Yeah. The, the, the rough things that's been going on right now. Because we have to also consider that I cannot... I, I, I can't, like, prove that I didn't... You know, I can't tell you what made these inputs look weird. And I don't know if the other players did something. I have no clue. I don't care. Yeah? I have no idea what they've done. Maybe they have the same issue that I have, which I don't know what it is, but maybe they have the same issue... But, uh, yeah, that's, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I, I have no clue, really. And it makes me sad, like, of course, we can, we can kick W about this, and it's fine, like, you can kick W about it, I really don't, like, you can do whatever you want. Uh, I don't want to kick W about this, because it honestly makes me sad. Because there's nothing, there's nothing from both sides that can prove against the other one, you know? Neither can I know what I did to cause all of these, uh, all of these weird inputs, but he can't also, he, he also can't prove it, you know? Because they, the, the way that I've operated it, the way that or that, that I understand they operate it, is uh, they have this tool that extracts inputs and they've ran it against an algorithm or something. And if the algorithm spits out inputs that might not be possible, it's instantly declared a cheat. That's how I understand it. Of course, I don't know what exactly they've been doing. I don't know. I'm only assuming at this point. But that's how I kind of understand it. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Why no name in the pick? It's it's the same uh, the same message. So there's no pick. I just cut it out so you can uh, read it a bit better. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I understand it. Of course, Donadigo, um, I don't know if uh, you're still here, but maybe you can give us some, some insight here into how this operates. But the main issue that I see here, and it's bad that it has to come to this point. The main issue is that it's, at the moment, completely based on subjective opinion. Yeah? It is subjective opinion. So, they took the tool, they ex extracted the inputs, and maybe the inputs are right, maybe they're wrong, we don't know. Um, but what they did is... They took their own subjective opinion and everything that doesn't fit into what they believe is legit is not legit. If that makes any sense. I'm, I'm, I'm bad at explaining this, but th that, that's it. That's it. And that makes me sad, you know, because now I've been sitting here for weeks. I've been trying to figure out what could be the issue, you know, because... I gave him all the info that I had at that point and being accused of this is not only a risk for me, for my credibility, but also for the game itself. Yeah, that's, that's the thing and it makes me sad. That, what can you say man? What can you say? He's mocking you on Twitter. It's fine. Let him mock, man. I don't. I don't care. Let him mock. So, I needed to get this out because this is something that I think you should know. If he comes out with a report like this, that you know what's you know the other side as well. Yeah. Um, also, I have the the Twitter things that have been going on here. Uh, virtual saying. 
Stay safe out there, friends. I've heard my name. Like, this is a different topic now. I've heard my, my name is a bannable word in other streamers' chat. Don't say the W word. Um, that's also something he didn't really understand right. Because the reason why I have decided to uh, remove virtual from, uh, from my chat is because in situations like COTD, the entire chat is flooded with virtual. You know, it is not really the best thing to see when you're playing at your very best and everyone's talking about someone else. Yeah, that's uh, not really a cool thing. And what's even, what's even weirder, in my opinion, is the fact that during one of the COTDs, he uh, pulled this one. Not sure if you can hear that. Hello, Idiotus chat, can you hear me? It's a bit far down the scoreboard, so I'm not sure if you can hear me all the way down in sixth place, but if you can, uh, hi. So, at this, this is not, like, this is fine, it's a joke, right? If there wasn't all this shit in the background going on. I would be completely fine, and I would have laughed at this too, because I know his type of banter, and it's my type of banter too. I think this is funny, but the timing is not so good, because he knows exactly that he has literally accused me of cheating in the background, while he pretended that everything's fine on stream. That's kind of weird, champ, right? That's, that's weird. So I can't really see this as a joke when... He knows what's been going in the background. Yeah. So, here's the chat. And, uh... Then people were obviously asking, uh, why is the word banned? And not, it, it's not personal, you know? Don't see it as a personal thing. I would have done this with any other word. Um, because we've also deleted other spam words. We've deleted Mufat. We've deleted all kinds of other copy pasta. Um... So... We were transparent with that too, and uh, it's just something to keep the clean chat because you probably know, um, you probably know that I like a clean chat. I don't want spam. I mean, not spammy, but I want I want spam. Don't want messages to be spammed. I don't want things to be. You know, I I'm not in that kind of. I I don't like that shit. You know, I don't want that in my chat. You can have it anywhere else, and that's completely fine. Because everyone uh, enjoys their own uh, type of chat and that's fine. But I don't like it in my chat. So I decided to just get rid of it. Because it triggered me. And I think it's not the, the, the best timing to say the least. So uh, people, people generally understood that. People generally understood that after they asked. So uh, my, my mod, Pingu, she uh, told everyone who asked, Hey, why is this, ba why is this word banned? She, she told, uh, yeah, this is because it's... It's been getting too spammy, there was no content in the chat left, like, it wasn't really uh, worth reading anymore. That's kind of the thing. Um, which is, hopefully, understandable. If it's not, if it's not understandable, you know, uh, I can't, like, make you have an opinion. Uh, I'm not here for that. So, just wanted to get this out. Um, so, it's nothing personal. The fact that these words are banned is nothing personal. But people took it out of context because they don't want to understand or they failed to understand or something. I don't know. Um, Jozo, good that you're asking. The COTD clip was a few days ago. And the accusations already started a month ago almost. So uh, that is not very valid. Yeah. That is, that is not very valid. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything, and the fact that he's now mocking about it on, on social media, I mean, let him do what he wants. He doesn't get it. Yeah, it's, it's okay. So we've been transparent with it. Whether it's understandable or not, that's up to you to decide. But I thought, uh, you guys want to know. Yeah. Or I thought you, you want to know what's been happening in the background. It's... It's 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 really been bothering me, because uh, you d you don't want to have shit like this in first place because it's unnecessary, and on the other hand, where is this gonna get us? Where where is this gonna get us? Like, 
I understand that it's important to take care that the game is cheat free. Uh, but I think it's not necessarily the community's task, but rather Nadeo's task, first of all. Because at the end, Nadeo decides what they want in their game and what they want, what they don't want, first of all. And uh, at the end of the day, um, it's 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 just not the, the the way it's been handled. It was not correct, yeah. And I wish it would have been treated better because that way we could really have good consciousness about bringing out things like the competitive patch or something. <laughs> but uh, at this point. There are probably a lot more false positives. And uh, that's not good. So. I I just had to get that off the chest. You can do with this whatever you want. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to be transparent with it. So you know what's up. I really didn't want to like get it to this point. But this is like this is where uh, I. I thought now nah, that's it man. Yeah, uh, this this blackmailing was the point where I was like, nah, dude, uh, that that can't be, because I've been silent all the time. Yeah, I've been silent with the accusations. Of course, I went to Nordavent, I went to Nadeo already. We've had very thorough thoughts uh, about this, and uh, I can tell you that both Nordavent and Nadeo are aware of the situation. Um, and yeah, it. There, there's no like good outcome of this, unfortunately, because one way or another, we are gonna have people that understand this side and people that understand the other side. It is inevitable, but it was gonna be happening anyway, you know. And uh, I thought uh, it's probably better for you to know what's up um, before things escalate a bit too too fast. Yeah. Could all this shit affect your professional Trekmania career? Um, as I said, I talked to Nadeo. Um, you should not be worried about that. But uh, what it is, what what is affected, and that's the that's the sad thing. You know, we have such a such a good growth in Trekmania right now, um, and now there's this bit of a split. Like this drama is probably gonna be forgotten at some point. But uh, yeah, it's 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 still sad, you know. Yeah, indeed, this is the big project. And uh, it's it's really, it's it's been affecting my mental game a lot. And I've been pretty close to, like, actually collapsing mentally. So I'm glad I'm here, <laughs> actually. But I, I just had to let that uh, out, yeah. But it's it, it's pointless. Like, nobody is going to come out of this as, as the winner, so... Um, I would be fine with just letting this be the past and it's over at this point. I'm fine with that. But if more things happen, you know, I have said everything. Uh, I have I have stated everything that, you know, I can tell you. You can do with it what you want. But hey. Thank you, uh, thank you for the support, by the way. And... Like again, I'm I'm not here uh, to make you guys start a witch hunt on virtual. Please don't do that. Like, please don't go to him and say you're a fucktard or anything. Like, please don't. Just let it rest. Like, honestly, I, I don't want that. Just let him be. It's fine. Yeah. Um. And take this as a piece of information that you can do with whatever you want. Uh. Either question it any further. And be like, yo, I want to investigate this any further. That's cool by me. Uh, or if you have any idea what could possibly cause this shit to happen, I'm all ears. Um, if we can resolve this, I think it's for the benefit of all. So we can uh, figure this out together. Um, as a community. Because the last thing I want to lose is the, the good positivity that we have in Trekmania and in the, in the community. But I'm afraid if we keep going on like this, it's gonna not end that well. Yeah. But yeah, these these accusa accusations are rough. They're, it's 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 been rough to deal with, and the fact that I've been treated like garbage basically by virtual didn't make it any better. 
you've clearly seen the very condescending kind of way of talking and I don't want to collaborate with something like this. It, like, it, it hurts. It, it hurts. And I, I don't want that, you know? I've been all up with the discussions. Now I almost feel a bit bad that I helped him with this uh, analysis, first of all. Because uh, I feel like I've almost been framed somehow. But uh, yeah, whatever. Like, the, 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 the things have happened and... Uh, there, there's more at stake than just the records. Like, who cares about records? What, what matters more is the actual human beings. And uh, right now, human beings are being, uh, yeah, not treated very nicely about uh, about this, and that's not very healthy in my opinion. So uh, yeah, I think that's everything that I want to say about this. You can discuss this, of course. But I prefer to not say a lot about this anymore because I've been thinking about this for freaking a month now. I, I can't be arsed anymore, man. Uh, I, I can't be arsed. Like, it's been so annoying. It's been so annoying, man. But yeah, thank you for the for the support chat. That is uh, that is very kind. I would burst out in tears if I could, but I can't because I'm dead inside. But yeah, thanks chat. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Everything will be fine? I hope so, man. I hope so. Will COTD be happening for, for me tomorrow? Uh, probably. Probably. But yeah, if you have any questions or something, you can, you can ask. <laughs> now 01 hunt. <laughs> uh. Nah. What is the competitive patch? Uh, you can read about it on TMX in the Nations, TMX, Nations Forever, TMX. What's drink of the day? Uh, Coke Cherry. But yeah, a lot of lot of messages in the chat. Damn, damn, damn. Um, this is Pingu. Hi. I know this is weird that I'm here, but I just wanted to say one thing, because I think it's very important to not forget that these are people. This my boyfriend here. Okay, this is his job. You know, we are paying our bills from this. This is of course a thing he loves to do. And not everyone gets the privilege to do it. I True. totally get that. And this is a great True. position to be in. And this is because of you people out there. But to people saying you shouldn't have made this public. When he's being harassed by someone and potentially risking his job. You know, True. paying his bills. That is something you have to, you know, get behind. Because this is not just drama, okay? This is not just being dumb or bantering or oh, you might have cheated you might have you know this is not important what is important is that you don't forget that this is more than that yep. and that he cannot risk his career and not say anything when someone with a bigger platform is doing this to him because virtual has a bigger following and you know normally I, I was happy for him like all this time like totally he, he made great videos totally back then i had the time to watch them but now i don't because i'm busy but still he made great videos and we are not denying this he deserves what he has right now that's great that's great for him and i'm still glad for him because he is a part of what this community is now and that's yeah. awesome but 
it's important to not forget that when someone with a bigger platform threatens to say something about you that's bad for your career and that will make you as a competitive player look like you like you're a cheater that's not okay yeah and the problem is I, I, i'm having trouble getting you know getting the words out yeah, yeah yeah but what i'm trying to say here is that he has a bigger platform and for him for for riolu this is concerning when he's getting blackmailed by someone with a bigger platform and yeah that's obviously dangerous and that's why he has to say something like imagine being in this situation so not only the accusing of cheating like i can you know that's that's even one thing but um threatening to publish it and making it a truth without it being a truth but without facts that's another thing so yeah great motivational speech great TED talk. <laughs> i know it's unbelievable <laughs> me stuttering around i know everyone wanted to hear that but i just wanted to say it because nobody's gonna care in the chat to be honest so i just wanted to say these are people virtual is also a person you send virtual hate i'm gonna ban you with you know my left hand yeah just saying you do this we, we don't want people sending hate here this is just him getting things right from his side and this is all there is to it yeah just wanting to say all right that's all i'm gonna <laughs> go back to my chair now i'm gonna not get a tear out and that's it all right so yeah that's pretty much what i try to say as well like at the end of the day it is a video game that we all enjoy and the fact that you don't that we none of us have like actual proof for what happened is you know you cannot really make such a big fuss about something that you have you know very little little idea about yeah i, I don't know that that's probably the probably bad wording what i'm trying to say is um, there is no certainty for anything, but drawing the conclusions too quickly, that's not the right thing to do. Um, so I have the facts right here. I showed you what, what the fact is and, uh, that the way I've been treated, it was not correct. Like, you don't talk to anyone like this. You don't talk to a criminal who was robbed the bank or who, uh, stole the grandma's iPhone 6. You don't talk to anyone like this and uh, this is like the major thing I actually wanted to share because uh, this is something that we should not condone or that I at least don't want to condone because uh, I stand by this positivity thing you know I'm th the older I grow the more I appreciate people just hanging out having fun I don't really like all this kindergarten troll meme shit I grow out of it completely uh, what I just want to do with this is show you what's been going on and what's bothering or what's bothered me and also Pingu, of course, uh, for for a long time. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. That's uh, pretty much about it. Um, but yeah, do do with it what you want. Like, do with it what you want. If you all of a sudden hate me, it's fine, you know. But uh, yeah, just wanted to let that uh, out. Uh, yeah, let's actually just look at something more pleasant. For example, this end screen. Because this is actually better than just a standstill, I suppose. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much about it. And if you have any questions, you can, uh, you can ask. Yeah, you can ask. Do me one favor, as I said, don't like talk shit about virtual don't go and write bad messages to him in private please don't do that because that's that's shit you know that's not being a decent human being so uh please do me the favor and don't don't shit talk him anywhere just let it be just let it be and uh we'll see how or where this gets us yeah what, what did Masa ask? Why is Masa trolling all the time? <laughs> what, what did Masa ask? Do you have any crypto? No, I don't. Teach me. <laughs> anyway, um, there were a lot of gift subs, a lot of new subs. That is that is crazy. That is crazy, crazy. Thank you, everyone. Um, you're all appreciated. You all know who you are. 
Yeah, you all know who you are. Thank you so much for uh, supporting. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy this went out. Let's be real here. So now do what you want. I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow we're going to just play some Trackmania. And uh, yeah, this whole topic, hopefully we're just going to be able to bury this quickly because it's something it's not very comfortable to talk about. Yeah. And th there's no point. It's not going to get us anywhere. It's just going to stir up ne negativity. There's nothing, nothing that's going to come out of this unless we figure out a way to prove what could cause these weird inputs. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's it for me. And I will see you around uh, tomorrow for Trackmania. Relax and vibe. That's what I'll try at least. Um, so thank you for the very supportive messages and uh, I will see you uh, tomorrow. Uh, yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow we're just gonna play uh, COTD and what else actually? Grass campaign. Yo, tomorrow uh, grass campaign. Somebody built a map with only grass maps. I think I'm gonna play that. So uh, yeah, take care everyone and goodbye.